We begin in Austria, where a free speech activist has fallen foul of the law for expressing similar views being coerced by major European leaders. Elizabeth Sabadich Wolf says that after decades of mass immigration, multicultural society is not working. Well, she faces three years in prison for inciting religious hatred after she criticized Islam and Sharia law. RTZ Katerina Gracova reports from Vienna. A European citizen peacefully debating Islam with a Muslim is nothing unusual in a multicultural country like Austria. But it's a topic not always discussed in such gentle fashion. I advise you not to burn the Quran, but to read it. Only by studying what Islam stands for will we learn how to face it down. Know your enemy. Elizabeth Sabatich Wolf has been on trial in a Vienna court on charges of making what is described as a hate speech against Islam. A left-wing Austrian magazine recorded and published a speech at one of her seminars, landing her in court. I have nothing against people who want to practice their faith, uh, but I would like them to do this in the privacy of their own homes. Her ideas, she says, are nothing new, and when Europe's political elite express them, they are not prosecuted for the same views. Multiculturalism has failed. Uh, this is nothing new, and uh, my group and I have been saying this for years. Now, uh, all of a sudden, uh, Sarkozy, Merkel and others uh, come out of hiding and agree with us. I don't know why. But Elizabeth Sabatich will oppone and say she crossed the line. Her speeches outraged not only the Muslim community, but also native Austrians. It's not a matter of free speech that I can spread hatred about large groups of society, you know? We have to respect individuals in our society and we have to ask them to integrate and we have to help them to integrate. Yet European leaders such as German Chancellor Angela Merkel, French President Nicolas Sarkozy and British Prime Minister David Cameron say multiculturalism in Europe isn't working. There are huge Muslim communities, but frequently, such as in Austria, they live in their own areas, a physical sign of non-integration. This district in Vienna is known as Little Istanbul. People here speak their native language, they prepare their national dishes and wear the clothes which they are used to. And this is exactly what Elizabeth Sabadich Wolf and her fellow likes are taking a stance against self segregation. A topic which was once taboo is now at the top of the European political agenda, with multiculturalism now open to multi-criticism from some of the continent's most influential political leaders. We've yet to see how their views might fully influence debate on the ground and the future shape of Europe. Ixirina Gracheva, RT, from Vienna. Well, Danish writer and columnist Mikael Jalving says Europe's push for political correctness has gone too far and is now limiting citizens' freedom. We've allowed uh, too much multiculturalist uh, uh, dogmas and taboos to, uh, being represented in the public sphere. And now we've, we've gone, gone even further to practice uh, legislation against hate speech, against defamation, and limiting the, the free speech and, and, and the soul, which is European, our heritage that, that we should really care about. So we've gone far too, too far with, with all these soft-spoken tolerance. Basically, it, it's the fall of the governments, not uh, facing the facts, st standing up to reality, standing up to the social uh, phenomena uh, popping up uh, in, in Belgium, in Holland, in Germany, and in, in throughout, throughout Europe, in Sweden and Denmark as well. Uh, you, can't, you can't blame a whole uh, a group of, of people for not doing this or that, but you can, you can blame the politicians for not dealing with the problems, not, not turning them into uh, subjects that can be criticized and, and, and debated, which is exactly what they're trying to do now.